All right, what's up everyone? It's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. And today we are on our last episode of the Canada Mini Series. Ethan Mini's right over here, so you guys should check him out. He's been helping me out a lot on this trip. Our final location is this beautiful 1960s abandoned mansion. I mean, you can see the giant pool right here, the glass everywhere. I mean, this place is beautiful. There's a lot left behind in there and it's pretty much frozen in time. Now the story behind this place I'm just gonna give a little brief rundown before we actually get into the real history of it. Basically, this family of five owned it, and basic story, they grew old, kids grew old, they never updated the place, they never really changed anything about it, and it just kind of sat, like, abandoned after one of them died, and the other one is now in a nursing home, and the kids moved away, they don't live in this country anymore, and the house has just been sitting like this, and it actually got purchased by a developer a long time ago, but nothing's ever been done. It's been years. It's just sad to see it the way it is. I mean, this pool is filled with algae. You can see inside, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you guys are gonna be blown away when you see this place. And I'm just excited to take you guys around. So I'm on the back side, and there's a diving board to the pool, but it's all overgrown right here with this tree. The tree's just coming down into this pool. You can see how much algae is here. There's literally tadpoles swimming around in this thing. And the mansion built in the 1960s. Look at all the glass that's on it. I mean, what a beautiful place. I mean, look at this. And the pool is actually really huge. The vines are overgrowing everything. You have a grill right there, the doors, you have this gate. This backyard is, for it being kind of small, it's actually not that bad. It's decently sized because we're in like a neighborhood. It's not like it's gonna have like a lot of land and stuff, but what a beautiful, beautiful property. Today, we take a look at a $1.2 million abandoned mansion built in the 1960s. The family that lived here were big into the hockey business, owning several different little league teams throughout the country. The family simply grew older with the three children they had moving out of the country and onto their own business ventures and the elderly couple withering away with time. Just a few years ago, the man of the house passed away and the mansion was sold to a developer who had plans on demolishing the home for a grand castle-like estate, but the plans fell through and the mansion sits abandoned today. So join me and let's see what's left. All right, everybody, we have now made it inside of this abandoned 1960s mansion and everything in here is so retro and so amazing and there's still a lot of stuff left behind in this house including one bedroom upstairs that is insanely trippy with the wallpaper and everything i mean the wallpaper throughout this entire place is really cool we heard the history about this place and it's pretty wild to say the least and now we're going to see the beauty of what's left inside thanks to ethan mini for bringing me here and uh, shout out to him check him out down in the description and without further ado let's get right into this video we're going to start at the front door work our way around the downstairs, then go upstairs, and that'll be it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, everyone. So I'm gonna start you guys off at this front door, which is beautiful. These double doors here with the mirrors on this side and the wallpaper, this blue, really pretty wallpaper going all throughout the foyer here. And when you first walk in, it is very, very pretty, this flooring. And this is, guys, this is what you saw in that little intro we just shot. Quite an amazing house. I love the colors in these type of houses, these retro ones, especially when they're not updated. Now, I believe that part of this was updated, um, according to Ethan, right? The kitchen was updated, right? Yeah, the kitchen was redone in 89. 89, so the kitchen's a little bit newer than the rest of the house, but uh, a lot of it's still, still original from pretty original. Yeah. yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> so. We're gonna see a lot of the, the retro 
vibes in here, but I'm gonna wait to show you guys the kitchen. I'm gonna keep showing you guys this part. In the foyer, I mean, the ceilings are kind of lower right here, but they do get better as we go out. This is beautiful. Now all the railings are gone, probably from vandalism or kids, you know, but nonetheless, the blue carpet still being there with this uh, blue and white type of wallpaper. And this also has like a silver lining going uh, all throughout the wallpaper. So it gives like a little bit of a shine. And I forgot to show you guys on this front door. Check that out. Very pretty door handles. So from the foyer, we're gonna go right to the right. And this is what's gonna be your main living area. Now in here, there's hardwood floors and this red like fabric wallpaper feels really strange to say the least, but gives that really cool vibe going from like blue to red. You can tell all the different colors that are throughout this and looks like there was a really nice like brick fireplace here, but has since been dismantled. You can see the bricks just laying everywhere, but definitely I love this, this red in here. Now guys, I've explained this before, the type of houses like I'm into. I don't like basic colors. Like I don't like the typical white walls, gray floors type stuff. Um, I'm more into like crazy stuff, colorful. Um, I want my house, like my future house to be weird and retro looking because I think it's just cool and unique. And I think it's not as basic as, as that. Not calling anybody basic that has the type of house, but for me, it's just not my style. So this type of stuff is what I love to see. And just wait till you see the rest of it because it's really, really cool. <laughs> so we just checked out the living room here. So there's not too much to see in there, but throughout the house, it gets even better and better. Just more stuff is starting to be shown that's been left behind. So we're gonna keep continuing. We're gonna go to this room right here, which I believe was a dining room. It has a mirrored uh, wall right there with the curtains still hanging up. All right, now we're entering the dining room. Now, as you can see, it still has these nice curtains hanging up and they're kind of like silk curtains. So you can tell they're probably decently priced, but they just left them here. I mean, the people were older, and had no really reason to take them. You know, they just probably just fit this house. And the wallpaper in here is more of like a blotched type wallpaper, but it still has that, that shine on it, that silver shine all throughout it which makes it really neat. So if lights were on in here, it would have a uh, really cool shiny vibe throughout. I mean, you can kind of see it with the light of my camera, just a little bit. And of course, an entire mirrored wall. You can see how this kind of opens up, goes straight in there. If you guys can see, it goes this blue wallpaper to red wallpaper to a different kind of blue wallpaper right here. So we'll check out what's right here. This wallpaper is blue again, but it's more like a darker blue with this, again, this silver lining throughout the, the designs, the patterns. See these old other light switches here. Power is off in this house. Here's one of our closets, a completely blue closet too. And as you can see, if we look outside, we do have a pool right over there. We'll get a better look at that, which you guys already saw in the intro, but yeah. And then this room, I want to call it an office. I want to say this is an office. Most of the time in houses like this, offices are in rooms that have, you know, completely wooded um, walls all the way around. I love this wallpaper though. You don't typically see this in these offices. Really neat, it's, it is fabric. I mean, you can see it's kind of peeling off of that right there. Then you have all the shelving, the built-in shelving, which is really nice. And the fireplace is still intact in here. Makes me wonder maybe is that what the uh, main living room kind of look like. I wonder what kind of like, they had books there, probably books, like dictionaries, encyclopedias, things like that. This carpet is not very flattering, so I am gonna say this is probably the office. <laughs> let's move on and let's go back through the foyer. You can see this beautiful staircase here. And then we also do have a basement, which has some cool things down there. So we'll definitely check that out towards the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way into the kitchen here, which Ethan did say was updated around 1989. And you can tell it's very, very nice. I love this, these granite countertops. They fit so well in here. Matches the floor as well. It's 
So we're gonna come around this side. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's a nice size kitchen too. So you have this like long island right here with your dishwasher still here. I assume this was probably for, well, I thought it was gonna be like a trash can, but this is more like uh, where you put your appliances and some of them are actually left in here. We have like the blenders and stuff still here. You have these uh, double ovens right here. I wonder, I mean, these haven't been touched by anybody. So that's really cool. I mean, they're still in really good shape. Most mansions like this, you're gonna see like two ovens in the wall like this. And the fridge is one of these really big fridges. And you know, we gotta check it. But yeah, there's nothing left in there. Still does have a smell to it though. So we're gonna close that up. And then just all the little tiny cabinets. Everywhere. I mean, look at this. You probably put like spices and everything on this. Same thing on this side as well. There's this little area. Maybe this is just like a counter space, I want to say, because the microwave is right there. So you wouldn't, I mean, I'm not sure. But there is an intercom system right here in the wall. And I love how the granite goes from here to here as well. It just flows really nicely. And this is actually pretty neat. The blender goes right here on this. So it's built into the countertop. That's really sweet. Now the wallpaper in this is actually quite different. I don't know if you guys can see this like pattern. I wonder how they put that together. Maybe that was like hand done, but it, no, it looks more like, yeah, it looks like just actual wallpaper. Just, it has this weird feel to it, this weird texture. It's kind of sticky as well. Yeah. And it goes all through this kitchen and little dining room area. I just noticed this, look at this, nice and colored right there. It's like black and red and this accent lighting coming down. Really nice stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this Hornet. Like, that thing is massive. What the heck? Oh my gosh. It's like one of those killer Hornets that everybody went viral about. How'd it end up in here? Well, better in here than out there, I guess. <laughs> Very nice kitchen though. I actually really love this kitchen. And then, not like that. Here's where our stove is. It's one of these electric stoves. You can tell it's like all caked over with, with some sort of a uh, film. I don't really know what it is. Drawers don't look like they have anything left. More just cabinet space and whatnot. This is where your silverware would have went at least. Really tiny drawer for that, for this big of a house. And then right here would have been uh, where they would have eat like breakfast, like just like your little breakfast nook. And it's nice like, with this panoramic view of the backyard. But you can see how overgrown the backyard actually is. I mean, look at the pool there. Now you see that little thing in the pool there? That's actually what is supposed to be built right here. But unfortunately, I don't know when they're ever gonna tear this house down. But the pool is a nice size pool too. It's full of algae. And then we even have like a little grill area out there too. Surprising to see that a chandelier is still hanging up in here though. And it's actually a pretty nice one. Typically when, when kids find places like this, that's like one of the first things that get destroyed is the chandeliers. And there's even cabinets on the back side. Oh, it's like a double-sided. Okay. So you could grab it from both sides. It's just kind of narrow right here, which makes not a lot of sense, but it's what it is. But yes, I love this kitchen. Guys, tell me what you think about this kitchen down below in the comments. Sad to see it like this though. So now we're gonna enter one of the biggest living rooms I've seen in an abandoned house. And this is cool. And there's still a couch left in here. And Ethan actually did some research on this couch in particular. This couch is worth around $10,000. And I mean, I can see why. It's, it's definitely retro and it has like this cool shape and it's, it's a large couch too. But now we're gonna enter the, into the living room and this is so awesome, I love this. So let's see what's in here. Guys, I mean, just look at the sheer size of this living room. So it's like this brown tile floor that is uh, in the kitchen as well, but it kind of flows into here. And then you go up these steps of carpet, which puts you in 
living room of this, and here is this beautiful couch. Now, it's sad to see that a lot of the cushions are missing. They probably were either stolen or they were just thrown about somewhere else in the house, but yeah, I mean, it's a very pretty couch. And it feels like it might have been comfortable at one point, but since the, when they sit so long like this, you know, they kind of lose that feeling and they become more stiff. You can actually see where it was laying out right here. There's an indention in the carpet. Now, this is what makes me sad. There was a big glass top right here that somebody has smashed. I mean, check that out. This is like a giant blade. Like that would hurt so bad. And then this, I mean, look at the entertainment system. This is, this is a whole wall of an entertainment system now. If you can see, you can actually open it up. See, you open that up. It looks like speakers would have went in there and maybe some other things. And then your TV would have just hung right there. And this would have been your whole surround sound system, everything like that. And all of these actually open up. They're just kind of like designed to be more sleek and stuff like that, which is really cool to see from a more retro house, something like that. And this is huge. I mean, this is massive. The ceilings in here are probably 12 foot or so. Probably, yeah, about 12 foot ceilings in here. Not particularly my favorite type of carpet in here, but you know, it happens. <laughs> I mean, the curtains are still hanging up and you have this, this glass right here that's really neat. That kind of like flows together like a whole wall. Here's your radio system they put in this. They probably had records all stacked up down there. Looks like they might have had a record player in there, but I don't see it anymore. And then this could all be hidden as well with this little sliding door right there. I mean, this is a massive living room. I see another indention for the couch. Maybe there was a couple in here. Maybe, maybe there was one right here because I see the indention on that side. And then I also see an indention right here. This indention looks a lot deeper than that one. Maybe the people moved it after it was abandoned and it sat in a different spot for a while. It makes more sense for it to be right here than right here. But then you have a whole nother wall that you could put anything on. This really tall glass. I mean, I love glass like this. Just makes the room feel so open to natural light and everything. And there's still a chandelier in here. It's a little beat up, but it's not as bad. You can see some of the glass from it is, has been broken right here, but some of it's still left, which is cool. At least it's not like all falling apart. And right over here, they got the, where they would put fake plants and stuff like that. This is more for like decor. All this stuff is fake in here, so don't come at me for anything. And I just noticed all the lighting in here is really cool. It's like still, you know, tucked in the, in the ceiling, which makes it give it that, that sleek be, the, the sleek feel to it. You know, I'm kind of stumbling over my words here, but very, very cool place. Love this couch. I mean, it's got like that pink, blue, orange. It's all different colors. It's beautiful. It's sad to see it still sitting here. We're gonna go over to this side. And this looks like a bar, some sort. Not like an actual bar bar, but it's like, you know, a little mini bar. Maybe they kept some wine or, or some sort of drinks in this little area. A little bitty sink here. Not much going on. Little drawers just hidden in here, kind of. Everything is so sleek. Like everything is kind of like, I mean, this is one of my favorite houses I've been in, I think. Look at the size of this living room. <laughs> it is huge. You could fit 200 people in here probably. I just noticed this too. There's something in the wall here. Oh, maybe this was for the light. Oh, this is for the lights. So it has like the dim lights and everything. So many switches too. And it's just, like I said again, it's sleek. What a cool place. And now we're entering the washroom. So the washer and dryer is still here. Everything's still left. Pretty cool, they still got some of the starch and all that stuff left behind in this room. Yeah, look at that, paints. You can tell it's older too. Like look at that, that rug cleaner. You can tell this stuff is definitely a bit older. Some of it's still brand new too.
finishing wax, all that stuff. And this one has like a, like a plaid wallpaper, yellow, brown, and black, and white. Probably just kept cleaning supplies in this. Yeah, in here as well, they kept cleaning supplies. And that leads us back out into the kitchen. Now I wonder if we missed anything downstairs right here, which doesn't look like it. Now it's time we make our way upstairs and we see the bedrooms up there. You're not gonna wanna miss the one bedroom up there. It is so cool. The wallpaper is like on the ceiling too. So it makes it look like really, really uh, like trippy. It's, it's, it's crazy looking. And the beds are still left, the beds are still made. And there's a lot more stuff left up there. So I hope you guys stayed up until this point because now we're about to see some really 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 cool stuff so let's make our way upstairs and let's see what's left up there all right everyone so now we have made it up these beautiful stairs i wish these railings were still here but you guys can get the idea i mean it's a beautiful curve the wallpaper all the way up and there's those landings again but you could put plants there statues any kind of decor that would fit right there. It would look really good. Now, here's where we're gonna start seeing how retro this place is. I mean, you can already see the different colors in each room there. And that bedroom back there, I'm gonna save because that's the best one. You guys are gonna love it. So let's just start right here. So I'm gonna go to my right. Right here is our first bathroom that we're gonna enter. And check it out. It has nice granite countertops here. A little bit of graffiti in here from just vandals, kids, stuff like that, but it's not too bad throughout the house. So there's only like one room that has graffiti, thankfully. But this is really nice. I love the black and gold features. There is a toilet and a bidet in here. So this is the first on this trip that I've seen that. So that's really neat. Typically, I don't know how many of you guys have you ever used a bidet, but I'm more of like the one that's, I like the ones that are just built into the regular toilet. And then here's a nice big tub right here. It has a nice tile in the back. It's not smashed up or anything. It's very amazing that this is still intact. And that this whole house, I mean, it's pretty much still pretty good, to say the least. There's a door right here. Looks like it just goes to a closet. Still a little bit of things left behind, but not much. But guys, this is the master, and you can see the carpet goes to this yellow floral pattern carpet. There is a tad bit of graffiti right here, so we'll just stay away from that wall. But the rest of it is still in pretty good shape. Here's part of the intercom system. And it has this, again, this textured wallpaper. I don't really like the colors too much in here. It's, it's, too, uh, it's too yellow to me. I'm not like a big yellow fan. I do love this house. And I'm guessing that this is the closet space. Yep. So the closet space is all just built into the wall right here. And it has those pretty door handles like we saw on the front door downstairs. And it's just, just white and black. And it has this like mesh type uh, uh, frame right here. I don't really know what this is called exactly. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. One of the doors looks like it's been ripped off. I do really like this carpet, as long as it, if it wasn't yellow, you know? I mean, I love the pattern on it. It's just the yellow color that, that kind of irks me a little bit. <laughs> but I do thoroughly enjoy this house. It is beautiful. But in the master, it's a huge bedroom right here. And then we go around this corner, and there's like a little nook here. I'm not really sure what this is for. Maybe they had like a vanity put here. That would make sense, a vanity being right here. It's like another closet with sliding doors and this is a walk-in closet so you had two little areas that you could uh, put your clothes at for your storage nothing left in there though and I bet you this master bathroom is really cool I can already see the marble flooring and the marble tub oh yeah look at that even got marble countertops right here I mean they went all out for the bathroom it looks like still a couple of things left but not too much be really careful with that there is a little bit of graffiti in this room but i mean look at that marble tub here that is just a beauty 
and it's a big tub. You could fit two or three people in here and it's jetted too for being like this old. That's really nice. And you still have the fancy toilets. I mean, you can even see this wallpaper is like starting to droop down. It's kind of weird. I haven't seen wallpaper do that before. That is the master. Pretty nice room to say the least. Really good size as well. All right, now it's time to make our way down the hallway. And we're gonna go to the first room on our right here in this, this room. <laughs> this gives off that 70s feel. I mean, look at the carpet, the shag orange carpet in here with the multicolored um, like cabinets here, the built-in cabinets. I love how it's the yellow, blue, and the white. It, it, it just like looks so cool. And this is the type of stuff that I love right here. I mean, it's just funky, it's weird, and it's not basic. I love that. And even in here, we have a foot, it looks like a futon, maybe. It might be a futon. I'm not too sure, but it's really cool to say the least. I mean, check it out. It's still left here. And it fits the whole vibe of this room too. It's got the blue and it's got the, you know, the white sheets right there, the blue right here, the blue pillow, yellow pillow. It just flows all together with this room. Now I can imagine that this might've been one of the kids' rooms. I know they had a couple of children, but I think that, I think that this is one of the kids' rooms out of the three. Yeah, I think this was the oldest. This is definitely a cool, a cool bedroom. I mean, this, the, the color scheme in here, I mean, this room even has a balcony. I mean, imagine one of the kids having a balcony. That's so sick. And this like really beautiful and quiet neighborhood as well. Also, if you notice the uh, curtains match this as well, not completely, but they match in a way with the diamond pattern and being blue. This looks like it might've been used for like a desk, little cabinets here. You can imagine like some toys, maybe some, uh, some books. Maybe they did their homework and stuff right here. It's kind of small for a kid. It works out just fine. Not really anything left. Not in this room, at least. Now it's this next room over where it gets kind of crazy. Now I wonder if you can just enter to that room from this. No, this is just the closet. You can see some holes in the wall there. The closet still has some things. Looks like we have like some lamps and those are some cool lamps. Definitely a little older. Some hangers are still hanging up. But for the most part, I mean, that's this room. I really love this couch in here. It's futon and the carpet. I mean, look at it. It goes from blue to orange, blue to orange. <laughs> Again, one of my favorites. I mean, look at that. Super cool. And then we're gonna go straight down. I'm gonna give you a little preview of this trippy room before we go in. See that guys, it's insane. But let's check out this room first because this is probably the worst room in the house. This is the one with the graffiti in it. There's uh, hearts all over that mirror. I do like this wallpaper though. It's like a, like a baby blue with uh, the flowers all over it, different kinds of flowers. Door has just been smashed. And then, I mean, pretty terrible graffiti. And this was definitely new graffiti because I can still smell paint. Like it still smells like spray paint in here. Looks like the roof is caved in right here. Is this like written in Chinese? Is it? I can't really tell. You guys know in the comments? This paint looks almost wet. I don't know. It still smells a lot like spray paint in here. But this is just, this is the worst room of the house. I mean, I'm just gonna get it out of the way for you guys. Still cool nonetheless though with the wallpaper. Now it's time that we walk into the best room of this whole house. And I am so ready. I mean, this shag carpet is crazy. The wallpaper, the beds, this is by far one of my favorite bedrooms of all time. So let's go in and let's take a look. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Can you believe this? Ah, this is the most colorful, one of the most colorful bedrooms I've ever seen. Look at the beds. You got the two twin beds. This is something I'd see more in like France or you're just Europe in general where they put two beds together. But you know, being an older house, I can see it. But, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this chandelier. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love stuff like this. And the carpet, this is uh, one of those like really long shag carpets and it's like bright orange. I actually purchased um, a rug from my bedroom that's just like this, but it's completely red. 
because I love stuff like this. So I just, I'm starting to try to make my house similar to things like this. I mean, check it out, look at the beds. It's this like pink, green, yellow, multicolored. I mean, this is like Easter, 1960s, 1970s. I mean, this is insane. Kids kind of kicked in this side, which I'm glad they didn't touch all of this because this is beautiful. Let me check it out. I think this is like wicker. Yeah, it is. It is, that is, that is beautiful. It's sad that they're still here though. Like it's sad they didn't like take it and sell it and somebody could be using it. But at the same time also, somebody could have just trashed it and thrown it away. So this was definitely the siblings room. They shared together, maybe the two girls stayed in here. But can you imagine what other furniture could have been left right here? I mean, this is a huge room. This is the same size as the master, besides like having the bathroom and stuff. This right here could have had like other furniture, other crazy looking furniture. I mean, I'm sure they didn't have TVs or anything like that, but wow, floor to ceiling. Look at that. It gives such this like weird effect. Imagine like you're on like some sort of psychedelic in here. This would be, <laughs> and then I just noticed by each bed, you have a built-in like lamp into the wall. So there's one right there and one on that side. Still sitting here. This is so cool. <laughs> the carpet, I'm just in love with the carpet. Like what the heck? Some kids got to right here. Somebody that doesn't like Ethan either. I'm just blown away by this bedroom. I can't believe this. This is one of the coolest bedrooms I've ever seen in a house. Gotta check out the closet though. Look at the wallpaper it goes in here too. <laughs> This is so cool. I love this. Now it's time that we go back downstairs and we go down further into the basement and we see what's left down there. Now I kind of went down there a minute ago, a little bit, and there is some really cool stuff. So I definitely want you guys to see it. Hope you guys enjoy this upstairs. Comment down below what's your favorite part of this house so far. But without further ado, let's go down to the basement. Let's see what's left. Now it's time that we go down the stairs to the basement. It gets a little musty smelling down here. Not too bad, but we do have a door leads to the outside right there. And then there's this uh, different kind of carpet pattern down here. Definitely a little older. What kind of shoes were these? I don't know. You guys know what kind of shoes those are? The same wallpaper that's in the foyer is all the way down here too, all through it. Pretty big open space. Oh my gosh, this is all mirrors right there. I love this. Look at the way they're curved. That's really sick. Oh my gosh. Some ice skates. Maybe they played hockey or something, but this looks like figure skating. And this looks like hockey though. That's why I say that. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, this is really cool built-ins right here. I like that. And I'm, it looks like the color matches everything down here. <laughs> look at this look at this sofa what the heck this sofa is so sick see this is the type of stuff that i love this is so sick i love this red white and blue it's like well it's pretty stiff now but i'm sure it was pretty comfortable at one point and i assume this room was probably some sort of like entertainment room maybe even like a workout room or something but that is one funky couch. <laughs> that red accents along the walls. I mean, everything kind of matches. And then I love this. Look at this stone wall right here, stone fireplace. And this is real. I mean, you can see all of the little crystals in it, how it sparkles and glistens. It's really nice. It's like somebody spilt a can of paint in here. And this is quite different. I mean, look at the mirrors. So it's like V shaped through this. Pretty trippy looking, but this room is just, it's quite dark and damp, but God, I love this couch. That's insane. There's no like way to enter that. So like you can't enter any of this. So that's why I think this might've been like a gym or home gym or something. Maybe just a hangout area. I'm not too sure. Here's all the railings to the stairs. Looks like they were all just thrown down here. Here's a little storage closet right underneath the staircase. Got some paints and stuff in there with some blueprints back in the back there. 
Oh my gosh, look at this bathroom. <laughs> oh, it's so trippy. This blue and green. What the heck? With the tiles matching it on the, on the sink here. Gotta love stuff like this. Whoa, wait a second. There's another bed back here. So it looks like there was another bed in the bed in the basement. This could have been like for guests or something. It's not too cozy down here, <laughs> to say the least. Not as cozy as the other rooms would have been. But I mean, part of the rug is down here, part of the carpet. There's a little closet. But yeah, this is making me feel like maybe this was for guests. I could be wrong though. You guys let me know what you think, but that's just kind of the vibe it gives off because it's not that cozy. Looks like we have one more room right here in the basement. Got these accent lighting at the top. You can see the windows that are literally on the ground. There's dirt and grass. Mother Nature is about to come through this, through these windows. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh my goodness, this is massive. What is this? There's a ping pong table. There's some HVAC stuff. This has gotta be like their storage. Got the whole ping pong table down here. And all the support beams and everything are down here as well. All these lawn chairs, probably to sit by the pool and whatnot. And this feels definitely creepy because it's so dark and just, you know, it's just cinder blocks. It feels like a dungeon. I say that about every place that looks like this though, because it just does. It just has that dungeon-like feel to it. Well guys, that concludes our Canada series. It was a good one. It was a short one, but it was great. Six episodes, that's pretty amazing to say the least. And I'm pretty excited to show you guys everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this final episode. I loved it. Thanks to Ethan Minnie for taking me to all these spots. He, uh, he's really helped me out greatly. Uh, you guys definitely want to check him out. He has some great content. He sees amazing places and he posts quite frequently. So you don't want to miss out on anything he posts. So check him out down in the description. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to head to the airport and I'm going to go back home. Be with my doggy and just, just have a, have a nice week of rest and editing and get ready for the next trip, which I'm not really sure. And I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. So just stay tuned and we'll see what happens. So if you liked the video, comment down your favorite part, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new and until next time, big banks out.